you're a businessman. How, how, how do you see that budget? Well, it's interesting. I, I think you're right. They've hammered businesses and, and there's two things that happened. One was the minimum wage, which has increased before the budget. Yes. And then there was employers national insurance. So those things typically on a business of, that turns over, say, 12, 15 million and employs about 150 people, which are reasonable sized businesses. The cost in the last two years of minimum wage and now with this as well, is around a quarter of a million pounds a year for each of these little businesses. So that is a massive amount to find basically. Yeah. So yeah, I think in terms of our businesses, most of our directors are coming back and saying, this is going to cost 150,000. This is going to cost 200,000. And that's a lot off the bottom line. Mm. And they're all now panicking. How do we make that, that money back? How do we keep that going? And I think we've said this before, the way the businesses respond to this are by, and you've mentioned it before and you're right, automation. Mm. So you spend money on machines that will replace people to yeah. reduce the salary costs because suddenly those machines become a lot more affordable. Yeah. As salaries get more expensive, uh, machines become more affordable and then the decision to make it is that way. If a machine that costs three times the salary of a worker, that just means in year four, it's now paid for itself. Correct. Yeah. So now you're saving on that wage. Yeah. That's and that is and that is the exact calculation that, mm. that's made by, by businesses. Um, so there's that happening, and of course the second thing to reduce payroll costs is to get rid of people, mm. which is again what businesses look to do in these situations. So I don't think it's good for workers either, because I think mm. it will lead to less uh, less jobs basically. And then I don't know. It's ha well, I suppose the problem is now how is that gap filled? Because it won't be filled by the 11 million who are on benefits. Mm. It'll be filled by potentially more migrants coming mm. in here. So it's it's the whole thing is just very very. Full. And, and I think the general mood in business is poor now. Mm. I would say generally most of the business people I'm speaking to are quite depressed. And certainly talking to a lot of business business owners who are looking to sell and just give up. I think they've had enough. You know, they've had COVID, they've had uh, the Labour, uh, the Tories taxing them, they've now got Labour taxing them as well. I think they're just giving up. I think they- And the, there's no end to it, is there? There's no end to it, no. No, because this is the beginning. This is the beginning of five years, yeah. isn't it? So, you know, people, you know, people I know are looking in Italy for places to buy, mm. to go and live there, to, to know, to, because it's a nice sort of benevolent tax regime over there. So I think it's, it's another nail in the coffin of British entrepreneurship and business, basically. Did you enjoy that video? I think you did. Come on now, hit that bell, subscribe, comment. Let's build this channel. I need more followers. I need more subscribers. Be part of the journey. See you soon.